Hey you guys, it's Peter and welcome to my channel, Peter Likes Books. And I am here today for my August wrap up. I am so excited to do this video and share with you guys all of the books that I read during August. I actually did not count, so let me go through here and see first how many I uh, read. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I read, oh no, 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 six. I read six books. I didn't have a very good month, but I have already started in September. I am on my third book already, so hey, listen, it's gonna be a great September. I'm gonna catch up. I'm still gonna meet my goal of 102 books this year. I am currently at, I think I'm reading my 60, uh, 68th book. Let's see, hold on a second. I am currently reading my do 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 I've read 68 books. I'm currently reading my 69th book. So, all right, let's get over to uh, the books that I've read for this month. Let's start, or for the month of August. The first book that I completed in the month of August was A Good Day for Chardonnay. Um, the Sunshine Vikram book number two by Dorinda Jones. I got the, gave this book five stars. I love the Sunshine Vikram books. The first one, A Bad Day for Sunshine, was actually the very first cozy mystery that I read a year ago, I've been reading cozies for a, uh, um, for a year now, a year ago, September, and it was the book that got me started reading cozies. So um, that's what we call them. We call them cozies. You know how like people that are on Match.com, they call it Match. We call them cozies. <laughs> See, but anyway, um, so th this one pretty much picks up where the last one left off. Um, you know, they're murder mysteries. It's about this woman named Sunshine Vikram who lived, uh, uh, she comes back to her small town, and her parents had got her um, elected as sheriff of the town, and you actually find out why or how that happened um, in the book. So there's a lot of like things that are secrets that are revealed in this book that are really interesting, but it also goes back and references this mystery that occurred in the first book. If you like cozy mysteries or if you just like mysteries in general, I would highly, highly recommend these by Dorinda Jones. I think um, I've now read three of her series, and I think this is her best series yet. So that's the first uh, book that I finished in August. The second one that I read was The Law Score Girls, The Sto uh, True Story of the Cleveland Abductions um, by John Glatt. We had previously read, this was for a true crime book club. It was, um, I believe, August's book for a true crime book club. We had previously read a John Glatt book. He, re he writes a lot of true crime, and I believe the book that we read before was the Chris Watts book, the Chris and Shanann Watts book, um, which was really done well as, as well. But he is very factual in what he tells. There's not like a lot of emotion attached to it. That's the only thing, the only criticism I have. I gave the book five stars. I didn't, to be honest with you, know a whole lot about this case before going in and reading this book. So I was kind of just, you know, amazed by, I mean, the fact that these women have been kept in, you know, that kept hostage for so long. I just, it was unbelievable to me. Um, and the, the whole story and how it plays out afterwards after they are rescued is just unbelievable as well. So if you haven't read that book, just because you missed it for True Crime Book Club, doesn't mean that you're a bad student for true crime, but I mean, it does mean that. <laughs> but, but, um, it just means that you uh, can go read it now. And the true crime book club book for September is The House of Gucci, which I talked about in a video that I did like three videos ago. So anyway, all right. Then the next book that I read is I'm Thinking of Ending Things by, uh, I think it's pronounced Ian Reed. Um, it looks like, but it's I-A-I-N Reed. Okay. This book, I ended up giving four stars. <clears throat> it was a really interesting book. I was like, oh my gosh, my battery's about to die. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I almost went in and deleted the first part of this video. And I checked before I started the video to see if it was like low on battery and it didn't look like it was. All right, but anyway, the book, I'm Thinking of Ending Things by Ian Reed. So several people had recommended this book to me. I guess it's been made into a movie as well. I haven't seen it. Um, and they said, oh, this book is so scary and blah, 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 whatever. Okay. So, it's about this guy and girl that are dating, and they're younger, and um, he goes to her parents' house for, like, the weekend. They don't end up staying there very long. I don't really understand why not. Like, it's never really explained. Like, they're supposed to go there for the weekend, but they end up only staying there. Anyway, you guys, it was so bizarre, and it was very scary, and then he's, like, followed around. It's just, it, you guys, it's, it is scary, but the ending for me, like... 
You know, like when you're reading a book or you're watching a movie and at the very end, like if you read Central Park with me, this book is very much like Central Park, okay? You know when at the end, the author tries to do something cute with a storyline and you're like, no, 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 no. Like this would have been so much better. Like, okay, good example. What's the uh, the movies? Why can't I think of them right now? Um, shoot, the ones with, oh, I have to look it up because this is going to drive me crazy. Um, Hold on just a second. <laughs> I know you guys are like, it doesn't matter. The Ethan Hawke movie, the, the scary movie. Hold on just a second. What's it called? Sinister. Okay, you know that movie, like, and then at the end it gets paranormal. But, like, do you know how it's, like, showing the movies of, like, the people that have been, like, killed in the house? Okay, I remember when I was watching that movie for the first time. And then when it got real paranormal at the end, I was like, why did you do this? Not that I don't like a paranormal movie, right? But I was like, you just really kind of ruined, like, what was so scary about this movie. Like, the murders, the movies, that alone was scary enough that now you, like, went off into this area that almost doesn't even kind of really make sense. I mean, it makes sense per the movie, but it's like, it was unnecessary, okay? That's how I felt about the Sinister movies. I've seen the first and second one, I think. So I felt that way about Central Park, too. It's like at the end of it, they tie it up with the fact that uh, the, the girl is has psychiatric issues, okay? And that's why she's believed the story along the way. This book is very similar to that. There's like this kind of like wrap up at the end of the book. And it's like, is it real? Is it not real? I don't... I gave it four stars. I probably, in retrospect, would give it three. I mean, it was really scary for the majority of the book. But, like, at the very end, you're kind of like, what? Like, I'm so confused by what just happened. And that just takes away any scariness from it whatsoever, right? You know? Like, I don't know. It just wasn't scary to me after that. Okay. So, then, um, I probably would actually go in and change my... I'm going to go in and change my rating right now from a four star to a three star. I almost never do that. Um, just did it. Okay. And then I read We Were Never Here by Andrea Bartz. Okay. This was like this brand new book that had just come out. And I ended up giving this four stars. The book made me very nervous. It's very well written. So that's why I gave it four stars. But other than that, I probably would have given it three. It's about these two girls that are friends. And, um... The thing is, th through the whole book, you kind of know where it's going. You all, you kind of the whole time know where it's going to end. And that's why it's so, it's like it makes you nervous. So it's about these two girls that are friends. And it's kind of like single white female meets basic instinct. It's like, so they were on this trip. And I can't remember where now. And this guy, anyway, they end up killing this guy. Okay. Um, and then... It like happens again and it's like I don't know I just wasn't real impressed with this book and it's like they take these grand adventures like once a year and all this kind of stuff I don't know I just was like the book tried really really hard and there were some really really scary moments to me in the book um but like even the end like there was no there was no shock to it I'm like Everything that you, everything you thought was going to happen, happened, like, in the first 50 pages of the book. Like, I was never shocked in this book, even by the end of it. So, anyway, I was talking to my best friend about it, and she's like, yeah, what was that? I don't remember what that book was called. I was like, Tanya Jean. Okay, then the be next book I read was The Box in the Woods, which is a truly devious book four. I gave it five stars. Um... You guys, this is by far, if you've read the Maureen Johnson uh, Truly Devious books, I loved the first three that were kind of like all about one mystery. This one is about something completely separate, and you guys, this is the best out of all four. I have to tell you, I was the most impressed with this book. This book right here was the best in the series so far. So if you have read the other Truly Devious books, and this one, this one takes place, um, it kind of goes back and forth, um, kind of like the first three did, but it takes place between um, a camp and like then and now like in the 80s like i think it was like late 70s early late 70s and now and a murder that occurred so it's very kind of like friday the 13th ish um but it's done really really well stevie is fantastic in the book and it's just really good there's actually there's uh stevie nick's music in the book and they reference her name with that it's really cute how it's done um Okay, and then the next book that I read was recommended to me by my neighbor across the street who we were sitting there and we were talking one day about different books we like and she's like, well, I like thrillers and I was like this and I said, oh, me too. And then I was asking her about some books she read and um, I said like Patricia Cornwell or something like that and she goes, um, like, because she said she likes thriller series and she goes, I really like cozy mysteries. Like, oh my God, I do too. 
And it was so funny. And now we talk about cozy mysteries all the time. Well, she recommended a series to me called uh, Country Store Mysteries by Maddie Day. And this actually takes place in Indiana. It takes place in Southern Indiana by Bloomington, by Nashville, Indiana. And the first one's called Flipped for Murder. And it's about this woman that open she comes home to the hometown it's not her hometown actually it's where she went to visit her aunt in the summers and so she opens this pan this breakfast spot and lunch spot but they also sell um vintage like cookware it's really cute you guys and then a murder happens and they put one of her cheese biscuits and it's in the in it in the woman's mouth and so is it a woman i can't remember that gets killed now the <laughs> I read so much anymore, I can't remember the story. Yes, yes, it's a woman. And they put a cheese bis biscuit in her mouth. Well, she's famous for a cheese biscuit, so of course they think it's her. That's why I love the cozy so much. Okay, was that the last one that I read? That was the last one that I read uh, for the month of August. So those are the, the August books. I read one, two, three, four, five, six books in the month of August. And my goal is between eight and nine, and that didn't happen. So uh, this month we're gonna have to really get it get it going anyway so i can meet my goal of um 102 books this year anyway let me know what you've been reading and if you recommend anything put it in the comment section below i love you guys and i'll see you tomorrow bye